virtual learning. It might feel like it's getting old for some of you, but why not include a field trip? Fourth graders in Palm Beach County are headed to the farm. CBS 12's Madeline Montgomery takes us on the virtual journey. As much as Miss Soto's fourth grade class would love to be out here petting animals and feeding them like I am, they say they're still learning a lot by seeing this all virtually. There are no desks in this classroom. I never taught a lesson on a bale of hay before. <laughs> and no bus necessary for this field trip. There were so many opportunities that haven't been explored. It doesn't have to be about taking out textbooks and, and doing work. There's other learning opportunities. Miss Soto from Crystal Lakes Elementary took her kids on a virtual field trip to Pet Haven Rescue Sanctuary in Loxahatchee for class today. It's very important that animals get good nutrition. Carol Chapuis runs the farm. She loves the opportunity to teach kids about animals. I'm such a huge advocate for uh, educating animal welfare. And it all starts in the youth years. I just love that there's so many animals because I just love animals. The kids love getting to go on so many field trips now that school's virtual. If we were like in school, we wouldn't have this many field trips. But since it's like virtual, um, we can have field trips like every week. The principal of Crystal Lakes Elementary encourages her teachers to get creative like Miss Soto to keep Good students idea. engaged and teach them something that may not be in a textbook. The brick and mortar of the schoolhouse may be gone, but the school is where the heart is. And so it doesn't matter what location it's in. It teaches them responsibility. It teaches them love. It teaches them how to share. If you want to take your student out here for a virtual field trip, we have the contact information on CBS12.com. From Loxahatchee, Madeline Montgomery, CBS 12 News.